Deep in Sharjah's Hajjah mountain range, a new arterial road linking the settlements of Difta and Shis is creating a vital link to the UAE's east coast. It forms part of a more strategic plan to connect the container port of Corfa Khan to the west coast. With a 40-year pedigree in the Emirate, Halcro is playing the central role in the project. Chief Resident Engineer Steve Hodgkins, on site in the Hajjah Mountains, tells us more about the road. You can see it cutting through the mountains there and we're virtually at finished road level now. This is part of the excavation cutting. This is all done by drill and blast technique. Each of the benches is 12 metres apart. The slope is a four on one slope, which is quite typical for these mountains. This particular area is actually quite stable, so we've not had to put any extra rock bolts or shotcrete. This is just, just one of many that we'll pass through as we head towards the tunnel. This is one of the many culverts that are being constructed along the route. As you can see, they're quite a substantial size, which are necessary for the volume of water that comes down the wadi during the wet season. The wadis obviously are dry for about 360 days a year, but for two or three days, quite a substantial volume of water comes down here. Once the culvert's built and backfilled, the, uh, the road will pass directly above us, heading off towards the tunnel. Well, here we are inside the Difta to Shis tunnel. The total tunnel length is 1.3 kilometers. The rock here is uh, very sound. We're in good, good quality rock for tunneling. Well, today it's uh, blasting. The holes have already been drilled. They're charging with explosives. In an hour or two's time, the next advance will be made. As soon as the blasting is complete, the rock will be removed. The tunnel arch will then be shockroided, rock bolted, so that it's safe to advance to the next round. And then the whole process is repeated. In comes the drill jumbo, drilling holes ready for the next round. Rock tunneling is relatively easy. It's a re very repetitive process, but it can be a dangerous process. And safety is obviously top priority. The tunnel is due to be completed in August 2010. Beyond the tunnel, the road will continue wending its way through the mountains. The road here, as you can see, is mostly through very uh, barren terrain. However, there are a few aspects that needed to be considered during the design. For example, the gardens owned by some of the local villages and, and the design of the road was such that it tried to avoid them as much as possible and so they could preserve their way of life with their water supply and their date palm. In addition to that, there was a very ancient fort high up on the hill, which we've attempted to preserve. It then required careful blasting to remove that part of the rock and retain the main structure upon which the fort exists. And, and the fort sitting on top of the rock hopefully will be there for many years to come. Temporarily, there will be a link connected down through the gardens to the village of Shis. This is a very valuable link for the people of this village who at the moment have an extremely long route to go down towards the coast 